Eucalyptus oil is the generic name for distilled oil from the leaf of eucalyptus, a genus of the plant family Metaceae native to Australia and cultivated worldwide. Eucalyptus oil has a history of wide application, as a pharmaceutical, antiseptic, repellent, flavoring, fragrance and industrial uses. The leaves of selected eucalyptus species are steam distilled to extract eucalyptus oil. Types in production Eucalyptus oils in the trade are categorized into three broad types according to their composition and main end use, medicinal, perfumery and industrial. The most prevalent is the standard cinnamol-based oil of eucalyptus, a colorless mobile liquid with a penetrating, camphoraceous, woody sweet scent. China produces about 75% of the world trade, but most of this is derived from camphor oil fractions rather than being true eucalyptus oil. Significant producers of true eucalyptus oil include South Africa, Portugal, Spain, Brazil, Australia, Chile and Swaziland. Global production is dominated by eucalyptus globulus. However, eucalyptus koshi and eucalyptus polybractea have the highest cinnamol content, ranging from 80 to 95 percent. The British Pharmacopoeia states that the oil must have a minimum cinnamol content of 70 percent if it is pharmaceutical grade. Rectification is used to bring lower grade oils up to the high cinnamol standard required. Global annual production of eucalyptus oil is estimated at 3,000 tons. The eucalyptus genus also produces non cinnamol oils, including piperitone, felandrine, citral, methyl cinnamate, and gelnil acetate. Eucalyptus oil should not be confused with the term eucalyptal, another name for cinnamol. Uses, medicinal and antiseptic. The cinnamol based oil is used as component in pharmaceutical preparations to relieve the symptoms of influenza and colds, in products like cough sweets, lozenges, ointments and inhalants. Eucalyptus oil has antibacterial effects on pathogenic bacteria in the respiratory tract. Inhaled eucalyptus oil vapor is a decongestant in treatment for bronchitis. Cinnol controls airway mucus hypersecretion and asthma via anti-inflammatory cytokine inhibition. Eucalyptus oil also stimulates immune system response by effects on the phagocytic ability of human monocyte-derived macrophages. Eucalyptus oil also has anti-inflammatory and analgesic qualities as a topically applied liniment ingredient. Eucalyptus oil is also used in personal hygiene products for antimicrobial properties in dental care and soaps. It can also be applied to wounds to prevent infection. Repellent and biopesticide, cinnamol based eucalyptus oil is used as an insect repellent and biopesticide. In the US, eucalyptus oil was first registered in 1948 as an insecticide and miticide. Flavoring, eucalyptus oil is used in flavoring. Cinnamol based eucalyptus oil is used as a flavoring at low levels in various products, including baked goods confectionery, meat products and beverages. Eucalyptus oil has antimicrobial activity against a broad range of foodborne human pathogens and food spoilage microorganisms. non cinnamol peppermint gum, strawberry gum and lemon iron bark are also used as flavoring. Fragrance Eucalyptus oil is also used as a fragrance component to impart a fresh and clean aroma in soaps, detergents, lotions and perfumes. Industrial research shows that cinnamol based eucalyptus oil prevents the separation problem with ethanol and petrol fuel blends. Eucalyptus oil also has a respectable octane rating and can be used as a fuel in its own right. However, production costs are currently too high for the oil to be economically viable as a fuel. Felandrine and piperitone based eucalyptus oils have been used in mining to separate sulfide minerals via flotation. Safety and toxicity, if consumed internally at low dosage as a flavoring component or in pharmaceutical products at the recommended rate, cinnamol based oil of eucalyptus is safe for adults. However, systemic toxicity can result from ingestion or topical application at higher than recommended doses. The probable lethal dose of pure eucalyptus oil for an adult is in the range of 0.05 ml to 0.5 ml per kg of body weight. Because of their high body surface area to mass ratio, children are more vulnerable to poisons absorbed transdermally. 
severe poisoning has occurred in children after ingestion of 4 ml to 5 ml of eucalyptus oil. History Australian Aboriginals use eucalyptus leaf infusions as a traditional medicine for treating body pains, sinus congestion, fever, and colds. Dennis Considine and John White, surgeons on the First Fleet, distilled eucalyptus oil from eucalyptus piperita found growing on the shores of Port Jackson in 1788 to treat convicts and marines. Eucalyptus oil was subsequently extracted by early colonists but was not commercially exploited for some time. Baron Ferdinand von Müller, Victorian botanist, promoted the qualities of eucalyptus as a disinfectant in fever districts, and also encouraged Joseph Bozisto, a Melbourne pharmacist, to investigate the commercial potential of the oil. Bozisto started the commercial eucalyptus oil industry in 1852 near Dandenong, Victoria, Australia when he set up a distillation plant and extracted the essential oil from the cinnol chemotype of eucalyptus radiata. This resulted in the cinnol chemotype becoming the generic oil of eucalyptus, and Bozisto's eucalyptus oil still survives as a brand. French chemist, F. S. Cloyes, identified and described the name eucalyptola a euro also known as cinnolia euro to the dominant portion of eglobulus oil. By the 1870s oil from eucalyptus globulus, Tasmanian blue gum, was being exported worldwide and eventually dominated world trade, while other higher quality species were also being distilled to a lesser extent. Surgeons were using eucalyptus oil as an antiseptic during surgery by the 1880s. The Australian eucalyptus oil industry peaked in the 1940s, the main area of production being the central goldfields region of Victoria, particularly Inglewood. Then the global establishment of eucalyptus plantations for timber resulted in increased volumes of eucalyptus oil as a plantation byproduct. By the 1950s the cost of producing eucalyptus oil in Australia had increased so much that it could not compete against cheaper Spanish and Portuguese oils. Non-Australian sources now dominate commercial eucalyptus oil supply, although Australia continues to produce high-grade oils, mainly from blue Malay stands. Species utilized, commercial cinnol based eucalyptus oils are produced from several species of eucalyptus, eucalyptus cneorifolia, eucalyptus dives, eucalyptus dumosa, eucalyptus globulus, eucalyptus goniocalyx, eucalyptus horists, eucalyptus koshi, eucalyptus leucoxylin, eucalyptus oleosa, eucalyptus polybractea, eucalyptus radiata, eucalyptus sideroxylin, eucalyptus smithy, Eucalyptus titicornis, Eucalyptus viridis, non cinnol oil producing species, Eucalyptus dives, Phalandrine variant, Eucalyptus dives, Piperitone variant, Eucalyptus elita, Piperitone variant, Eucalyptus macarua, Geronyl acetate, Eucalyptus olida, Methyl cinnamate, Eucalyptus radiata, Phalandrine variant, Eucalyptus stegoriana, Citral, Limonin, the former lemon eucalyptus species Eucalyptus citriodora is now classified as Corumbia citriodora, which produces a citronellal-based oil. Compendial status, British Pharmacopoeia, see also, essential oil, eucalypts, woody plants belonging to three closely related genera, eucalyptus, Corumbia and angiophora, references. Further reading, Boland, D.J., Brophy, J.J., and APN House, Eucalyptus Leaf Oils, 1991, ISBN 0-909605-69-6, FAO Corporate Document Repository, Flavors and Fragrances of Plant Origin, External Links, Toxicity Eucalyptus Oil Profile, Chemical Safety Information from Intergovernmental Organizations, Eucalyptus Oil Medline Plus, U.S. National Library of Medicine, U.S. National Institutes of Health Evidence-Based Monograph Prepared by the Natural Standard Research Collaboration